In this video, we will look at two examples of determining probabilities of a Poisson distribution. In the first example, the average number of service calls to a plumbing company is 20 on a weekend. What is the probability a random weekend has exactly 15 service calls? For a quick review, the Poisson probability distribution gives the probability of a number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time or space if these events happen with a known average rate and independently of the time since the last event. We use a notation shown above for a Poisson distribution. We read this as x is a random variable with a Poisson distribution and mu is the mean. Sometimes instead of mu you will see lambda used. The probability x is equal to k is given by these two quotients here where these are equivalent. The first uses lambda for the mean and the second uses mu for the mean. So going back to our example, we want to find the probability that x is equal to 15. So using the formula we use mu is equal to 20 and k is equal to 15. In the numerator we have mu to the power of k times e to the power of negative mu. Well mu to the power of k is the mean raised to the power of 15 or 20 raised to the power of 15. e to the power of negative mu is e to the power of negative 20. The denominator is k factorial, which is 15 factorial. And now we go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation. We need the numerator in parentheses, so open parenthesis, 20 raised to the power of 15, right arrow, second natural log brings up e to the power of, and then we enter the exponent of negative 20, not minus 20, we use the negative below the three, negative 20, right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by 15 factorial, enter 15, press math, arrow to probability, select option four for the factorial, and enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0516. which is 5.16%. Next, a company makes electric motors. The probability an electric motor is defective is 0 0.01. What is the probability that a sample of 300 electric motors will contain exactly five defective motors? So for this example, we do have to calculate the mean or the average number of defective motors in a sample of 300. To find this, we multiply the defective rate times 300 giving us mu or lambda is equal to three. And now to find the probability, we need to find the probability x is equal to five. So going back to the formula, we use mu equals three and k equals five. In the numerator we have mu to the power of k, which is three to the power of five, times e to the power of negative mu, which is e to the power of negative three, all divided by a k factorial, which is five factorial. And going back to the calculator, open parenthesis, three to the power of five, right arrow, second natural log, enter the exponent of negative three, right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by five factorial. Enter four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.1008, which is equal to 10.08%. I hope you found this helpful.